Today we'll look at how to add an image on top of your video in DaVinci Resolve. I have a DaVinci Resolve project created here, and I'm on the edit page, which is where I do most of my work. Let's bring in an image to put on top of our video. So I have the media pool open here. If it's not open for you, click on media pool up here that toggles it on and off. I'll right click on this area, and I'll say import media. I have this PNG, I'll select it from my file system, and I'll click open. Now I can click and drag my PNG down onto my timeline. So let's put it here, I'll let go. And now the image is over my video. Now the image will only appear for the duration that you have set. So if I put the playhead back here, you can see the image is gone. If you want to change where the image appears, you can click on it, drag it to different times. You can also drag on the edges to increase the duration of it. So this makes it appear longer. And then you can play it and your image will appear over that duration that you've set. Now, of course, the image is way too big. So let's customize that. I'll select my image here. Now over here, we can click the transform tool and this will give us on canvas controls to modify our image. I can resize it by dragging the handles. I can move it. I could even rotate it if I wanted to, but I'll undo that. If I hold shift, I can change the aspect ratio, but letting go of shift will keep the original aspect ratio. Now, if you want to enter exact numerical adjustments for these parameters, you can click the inspector tab over here. So notice when I make changes here, they're going to change over here on the inspector tab. And you can put in precise numbers here if you wanted to. There's also additional editing options here you can explore. For example, I could expand cropping and I could crop my image as I like. If you make a bunch of changes and you want it to go back to the default, click on the little arrow here and that will reset that area. If you go to the top of the inspector tab, you can reset the transforms here also. So now it's back to its original position, but I'll make it small and put it back into the corner here. Let's look at two more tricks to make your image look a little more professional. First, we can easily fade it in and fade it out. We can do that by dragging these white handles on the top edges of our clip here. So I'll drag this in. Now when I play my video, notice how it fades in. I can do the same thing for the exit point and it fades out. And where you position this point determines how long the fade lasts. Let's also add a drop shadow to our image to give it a little more dimension. We can do this with the open effects options. So I'll click effects. Down here, I'll select open effects. And if you click the search bar, you can type shadow and we have a drop shadow. I'll click and drag it over my image here. Then I'll let go. And now you can see it has a shadow behind it. So if I play my video, there's the image with the shadow behind it. And once again, we can go to the inspector tab to modify the properties of the shadow. So with my clip selected, make sure you click inspector. Before we were looking at this video tab with these transform options. Now you want to click the effects tab. And this gives us the options for any effects we've applied. So I can change properties of the shadow. I can change the angle, the distance, even the color if I want. So I have a shadow like that now. But once again, if you want to reset everything, just click this button here and everything is back to the default state. And here we have our final result. If there's anything you'd like to see a DaVinci Resolve video on, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.